goodness me. Oh ho, hello. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Becky and this is Bex Reads and welcome back to yet another day of bookmas. Are you tired of me yet? Because if so, well, <laughs> I got bad news. We're not even halfway through yet. <laughs> so today to round out the series of series videos that I've done the past two days, I'm going to share with you all of the series that I have finished this year. I am very bad at finishing series, so the fact that I managed to finish 16 series or duologies this year, I'm pretty proud of that. A duology that I recently finished this year is The Seas of Kaladin duology by Jessica S. Taylor. I had no idea what this duology was about other than the fact that there was a siren involved, but I got the first book as a free audio during Stuff Your Earbuds Day and I absolutely loved it. It's such a slow burn historic inspired fantasy romance. I loved the audio narration of it. I loved the character dynamics. I loved the slow burn chemistry growth. So then naturally I had to jump right into book two. A reread series that I finished this year was the Nightwalker series by Jacqueline Frank. Myself, Kehlani, and Jackie did a read along for this at the very beginning of the year. Um, it's been so long since I've read these books that it was like reading them for the first time. I enjoyed some of the books in this series, but others I did not enjoy as much. And in another, you know, 15 years or so, I might reread it and see how I feel about it then. I also finished out the Vine Witch series by Luann G. Smith this year. I only had one book left to finish in this, and I finished it for Once Upon a Readathon because the last book involved a gin, and I was on Team Gin, so it made me finish it. I really enjoy this historic inspired, again, like, I don't know if I'd say it was fantasy. I think it's more historic inspired paranormal romance because it does take place in the real world. But I enjoyed the first two books much more than I enjoyed the third book. But as a series overall, if you're into historic inspired paranormal and or fantasy romances, I think you might like this. The first book has a witch in it. The second book has a... Faye in it and the third book has a gin in it. A series that I finished recently that I had no intention of even reading this year was the Galactic Love series by Anne Aguirre? Aguirre? I'm not sure how you say her last name. But I started the first book, Strange Love, just on a whim. It was available on Scribd, and it's one that I've been wanting to read. And I was in an alien romance mood, but oh my god, that first book, Strange Love, was so adorable. There's a little dog in this story that when the alien accidentally abducts the human, he accidentally abducts the dog too. And he thinks that the dog is just another alien. So he implants him with like a translator so the dog can talk as well. And it was so freaking cute. It captured my heart. It made me laugh. It put the biggest smile on my face. So if you are an alien romance reader, and you haven't read at least the first book in this series, I think you should read the first book. I did enjoy the other two books in the series, just not to the same level, but I think it's a really cute alien romance that is actually an alien romance. Like, we're not just talking, like, human-esque aliens with weird dicks. We're talking, like, these aliens are almost robots. Some of them don't even have genders. There is a little bit of spice in these books, but it's very sweet spice because there is like a language barrier. There's an, an anatomy difference, so they really have to talk through like what they're feeling and experiencing because they're working with two very different anatomy structures. I then finally finished the Dark Magi series by Kel Carpenter. This is one of my favorite fantasy romance series ever. It is a slow burn. All the characters are morally gray. I loved the character development. I'm really glad that I decided to sit down and just binge the rest of the series this year because before this year I had only read the first book and I liked the first book but it had been a couple years since I read it so I literally had to go back and read this first book and then binge the rest of them. And as I said, it's become one of my favorite fantasy romance series ever. A middle grade series that I finished this year was the Theodosia series. This is an Egyptian inspired middle grade series that I have been reading for quite a few years. I only had one more book in it to finish and I finally did it this year, so I am so proud of myself. But if you are somebody who likes Egyptian mythology, Egyptian history, a little bit of mystery, and you don't mind reading middle grade, I highly suggest you check this one out. I'm going to say that I am finished with the River of Mist series by Marina Simcoe. This is a series 
of interconnected duologies. <laughs> the first duology is Serpent's Touch and Serpent's Claim. It follows a fae who is a Gorgon. He can't look at his love interests, otherwise he will kill her. And they escape from this menagerie and end up back in his fey world. The second duology follows a gargoyle slash dragon shifter fey and his romance. And then the third duology follows like a winged fey. So I really enjoy this series. This duology right here is by far my favorite of the series. But I love the world that Marina constructed and I love how they all weave together. I also finished out the Nightshade duology by Carrie Lake this year. This is one, again, that I had no plans of reading, but somebody convinced me to read this first book and I was so sucked into it that I immediately went to the second book. This is a dark, gothic, paranormal romance about demons and angels and a religious cult and all of that and I was sucked into it. Another reread series that I managed to finish this year was The Immortals Quartet by Tamora Pierce. I have been rereading this series for like the last couple years and this year I finally sat down and made myself finish it out. This is a series that I loved when I was in high school. I think I actually mentioned it in my Nostalgic Reads video, which I will link down below. It was one of my videos of December. But I wanted to see if it still held up in my eyes, and it did. I really enjoyed this series as a whole, and I am glad to say that I finally finished it out. I also finished out the Twisted series by Anna Wong. I really enjoyed the first two books in this series. They got six stars for me. I liked the latter two books in this series, just not to the same extent. I didn't feel the same emotional connection to the characters, but the first two, my goodness, they will make it to my best books of the year list for sure. I also finished the Mindfuck series by ST Abbey. This is another one that I started this year and I finished this year because once I started, I could not stop. This is a series of very small like novella length stories. Um, you can buy the bind up so it's all in one, but I'm counting it as a series instead of just a book I finished because I read five individual books. <laughs> but this is a very dark, twisted, People call it a romance, but quite honestly, the romantic element of this story is not the... I wouldn't even say it makes up 25% of these books, quite honestly. It's about a serial killer and an FBI agent falling in love, but I don't know. The romance just wasn't a big enough factor in the story for me to even consider it a romance. I would say it's a dark suspense. Maybe even a thriller. This is one that I enjoyed. I gave it five stars. Highly recommend it, but I don't think I could ever reread it just because some of the things were a little, a little too dark for my little delicate soul. Another one of my favorite fantasy romances that I finished this year was the Legends of the Storm series by Beck McMaster. <sighs> like, did I ever shut up about this series this year? I swear every video pretty much that I could fit it in, I fit it in. So I started reading this series of couple years ago and I just never finished it out but this year I finished out the last two books in it and the last book was my favorite by far. I loved it. I gave it six stars. This is a fantasy romance series about dragon shifters, their families, their political arrangements and things like that. It does take place in Iceland which is where I sort of hesitate in calling it a fantasy romance because it does take place in the real world. However, it's like a historic Iceland. So I'm, I consider it more fantasy than paranormal because even though it's set in the real world, like I don't think I could go to Iceland and see the Iceland that is depicted in this story because it is so historical. Plus dragons. I also finished out the Musai series by E.J. Mello. This is a series that I had no intention of reading, but I got the third book as an arc from NetGalley, not realizing that it was part of a series. So I had to read the first two books in order to get to that third book because I was genuinely interested in the story. And I actually enjoyed this series. This is another, I would say, new adult fantasy romance series. It follows three sisters who all have different powers and how they use those powers to help their father 
rule their kingdom. A duology that I hate to even claim as a duology, I would prefer to claim it as just a standalone, but there are two books in this series and I did finish it this year. And that is the Anatomy Duology by Dana Schwartz, the first book being Anatomy, a love story. I loved this book. I gave this book six stars. It is a historical dark academia about a young woman named Hazel who wants to be a physician, but she's a woman, so she has to dress herself up as a man to take anatomy lessons, but that doesn't work for her, so she has to recruit the help of a grave robber to bring her corpses to study. It just needed to stay one book because the second book, oh my god, it deviated from the plot and the characters that I respected and loved so much, and I hated it. But I finished it, and that's all that matters. Another duology that I finished, I think it's only a duology. I haven't heard word of another book coming out to make it a series, so I'm gonna claim that I'm done with it. And even if there was to be another book in this series, I don't think I would read it. Um, and that is The Legends and Lattes duology? Is that the name of this duology? I don't know. It probably has a different name to it. I read this one and the prequel both this year. I really liked this one. I gave it four stars. It was super cozy. I loved the coffee shop and the little uh, pastries. I loved the descriptions of that. I thought the side characters were just so cute and I loved the found family aspect of it. The prequel, however, it just wasn't as good for me. I wasn't as connected to the side characters. And even though it took place in a bookshop, which you would think I would like the setting of a bookshop better than a coffee shop because I, I don't even drink coffee. But no, I found the coffee shop so much more inviting and warm and cozy than I did the bookshop. Maybe it had to do with the critter who ran the bookshop or something. I don't know, but it just wasn't as good but I finished it and that's the point. <laughs> and the last duology that I finished, one that I highly recommend, I cannot recommend enough because it was so unique, and that is the Savage Seas duology by Rebecca F. Kenny. This is once again an adult fantasy romance about mermaids, but what makes this so unique in my opinion is that the mermaid is a merman, and he's also a single father merman, and he's just trying to give his son the best life he can give him, and so he seeks out the help of humans. I also really loved this because the romance that you would think you would get in this story is not the romance you get. And I just thought it was so freaking different from everything I've read in the fantasy romance world. Such a unique story. I loved the first book. I gave it six stars. I liked the second book. I gave it five stars. I feel like him being a single dad was sort of pushed to the background in the second book, which is a dynamic that I really liked in this first book. Um, so, so that's why I didn't like it as much. But still, if you are looking for a really different fantasy romance, you need to read this series because it is a standout. I'm telling you, trust me. I read a lot of fantasy romance. Those were the duologies and series that I managed to finish this year. I'm so proud of myself. Let me know down in the comments, what is a series that you managed to finish this year? And are you good at finishing series? Because if you are, let, let me know some uh, tips because I'm not so great at it. <laughs> but if you don't feel like commenting that and want to let me know that you made it to the end of this video, could you leave me a tree emoji? Because my hat kind of looks like a Christmas tree. And I'm really digging this hair color with this green shirt. I don't know why. It's very cute today. Anyway, with that being said, I will see you tomorrow for another day of bookness. Bye!